Hey guys, my name's Dominic Fike. I'm here with Fender. I'm going to be teaching you my song, Socks, and also giving you this beautiful guitar. Um, yeah, so let's, I mean, let's jump right into it. <sighs> okay, so I don't really know theory at all. I don't know anything about the guitar. I just know how to produce sound from it. Um, so let's start with the first chord. It's seven, five, seven on the, starting on the A string and going down, so. You know, you're plucking the outside two, and then the one in the middle next. Easy, right? Nothing else. I saw a lot of lessons online, and people like play with open chords, but you can't stop the chord or the string if you do that. That's how I did it. I stop. I lift up from there. Then I move that same chord shape down one string. You know, so outside, middle, outside, middle, top, middle. And then, for the third chord, I take it down over here to 10, 9, 8, on, uh, starting on the D string. Easy enough. Take that same chord shape, slide it to 5. You know, so, back to the beginning is. That's the first part of it. This, this song is like three parts, it's super easy. There's no bridge, there's no pre, it's like nothing crazy. Um, let's go back to seven, seven, five, five, starting on the A string. The picking's a little bit different. It's top, bottom, middle, top, so. You know, and then we kind of take like a miniature version of that chord shape and it uh, starts on five, four, four, so on the A string. Okay, so from the beginning it's... Five, four, four. And then this is probably the hardest chord in it. Um, just to slide, you know what I mean? It starts, uh, what is this? 10, nine, seven on the A string. So, 10, nine, seven. So from the beginning, it's yeah, and then we go back down into this little F shape thing. You kind of just drop it down to ten, nine, eight. Yeah, you know. So, and then you take that same chord shape, move it to the side one fret back up, and then there's this D chord type thing. It's not an actual D chord, but it looks like a D kind of backwards. And that is on, what is this, 10, 9, 10, starting on the D string. So that third section is D chord. Then you move that D chord up here to the 12th fret. And that's the whole thing, so it's I can't keep track of all my socks I'm irresponsible, not because I'm a You can call me what you want I think I like to hear You know what I mean? It's really easy So, that's the beginning First section Second section Hardest chord, drop down to that F shape, move it back, move it forward, hit the D, na -na -na. really easy. Um, that's pretty much it. I think the hardest part maybe will be like the picking, which is, it's just plucking, you know, outside middle, going down, back up, one strum. But if you listen to the song, I mean, it's very easy to get, and you can hear it, you know. Nothing, nothing is hard about the song. It's just like, 
a little bit confusing because it's the same thing for the verses and the hooks and the bridge goes, you know, that F shape. This guitar makes it sound great. Let me see. That's nice. Okay, cool. I don't know anything about guitars. You can put hammer-ons if you want. I mean, when I was on tour, that's what I did. I made like an extended version of it. Up, D, slide it to the 12th fret. It, it only goes to the 12th fret. We don't play any of the E's. It's just the middle ones. You just pluck. It's a really easy song. So, I mean, hopefully you can, you can rewind that and stuff, right? You're going to save it. Have you screen recorded this? I don't know. Either way. I mean, I hope you learned it. I hope you got it. Um, cool. Now I'm going to answer some questions that you guys have been writing. Let's see. What chords do you find yourself gravitating towards most often and why? Um, this chord, which is a major seven, always. See, my hand was literally in the chord. Always. Every time I pick up a guitar, like anyone's guitar, that's how I test it out. And it's because, I mean, I was always like, I only knew like, when I was making the demos, I knew like three chords. This one which is like the F, you know what I mean? And uh, that minor one, you know? Kind of like an A minor shape, which is like up here, but you bar it. And uh, my friend Ben came over and he was telling me like, yo, you should play this chord. <laughs> I, I ask people every time I do a session, like what's the weirdest chord you have? And they'll show me, which is like, this was the weirdest one I learned. That one's really cool. But that's that major seven chord. I'll usually start, I'll move it down. Either way, I can't play guitar. Um, let's see. What prompted you to play the guitar at the age of 10? My dad. Um, I knew my dad for like a week. He came over one day, you know, I don't know, him and my mom were talking about something, but he saw that there was a guitar in my room. And he was like, man, do you know how to play this thing? I mean, I didn't. And he uh, taught me like the cowboy chords, you know, like the original ones. And then within a week, I got better than him. I mean, he wasn't that good, but it was crazy. Yeah, so my dad. Uh, what part of the process do you enjoy most? Writing, producing, or performing? Hmm. Okay, so yeah, that's a good one. It used to be writing. I used to be like a rapper, so my favorite thing was writing. Then it became producing when I started making the demos. You know, and then when I started performing the demos, it literally became performing. That's my favorite thing to do. And I'm super sad I can't do it right now, you know what I mean? But um, hopefully I'll get back to it soon. So yeah, performing is probably my favorite thing at the moment. If you could only play one song on the guitar that isn't your own for the rest of your life, what would it be? That's a good question. Um, I only know one song that isn't mine. Oh no, I know uh, Say It Ain't So as well, though. Flip. Anyway, I only know one song. It's um, a Chili Pepper song, "Under the Bridge." It was the first song I learned on guitar. Um, yeah, I love them. So that's that. Um, what or whose guitar playing styles inspired you while growing up? John Frusciante. I literally have him on my hand, and he's like just the best. Um, I hope I never meet him, so I don't have to shake his hand, and it gets really weird. If you, I know he's not watching this because he's probably making techno music or something, but I love you. Anyway, now I'm going to do a prize giveaway. You guys are about to win a bunch of amazing gear. You're about to win this guitar that I just played this song on. I wish I could take this home. I'm going to see if maybe they can just give you a fake one and I can take this one home. I'll talk to the team after. Um, you'll win this. I have a bunch of other cool stuff. So I love this thing. I made a lot of the uh, album with this. Not my recent one, the one that I'm writing now. See, that's the same chord. It's amazing, it's got all these 
freaking tones. And this thing, look, I don't know what it's called, but that pushy button, you know what I mean? Anyway, my name is Dominic Fike. Thanks, Fender, for having me. Thanks, you guys, for uh, listening. I hope you win. Um, you know, have a great time. Honestly, this is an amazing guitar. You guys are going to win a bunch of amazing gear. I love Fender. This is, like, the only thing I play. So, uh, I'm jealous. Okay. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.